Week 10 of the NFL season has the Buccaneers taking on the 3-5 Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs come in this one, like I said, 3-5 on the season. Not the season they were expecting Monday Night Football. Chiefs looking to get back on track in this one and try to regain their foothold on the AFC West. Peyton Barber, though, he's going to be a tough out in this one. Barber, last week, 158 yards, two touchdowns, and Jameis Winston on the season, 16 touchdowns to nine interceptions. Like I said, the key to this season is going to be keeping those touchdowns low, and then when you have Peyton Barber running like this, getting blocking like he's been getting, it's going to be tough because Barber gone on the first play. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. They take the lead here. Fifth rushing touchdown of over 20 yards for Barber as the Buccaneers take an early 7-0 lead in this one. And the blocking he has been getting has just been sensational. And no one was able to catch him that time. Thornhill wasn't able to do it. Got to him after he already was in the end zone. So Kansas City, their rushing attack with Damian Williams. Uh, not much going there earlier than third and eight. Patrick Mahomes is almost picked off by Jordan Whitehead there. Not a good throw for Mahomes. And a punt you don't have to come out for the Chiefs. So here is Winston standing in the pocket, able to deliver that one to Chris Godwin. Now Winston again, first and ten. Another throw here to Godwin. Another first down. Nice play there. First and ten. Another handoff here. Another stretch concept. And Peyton Barber almost gone on that one, but they were able to get to him before he absolutely busted that one open. So now first and ten. Winston going up to Alan Lazard. One-handed grab. Lazard able to come down with that one. His first receiving touchdown of the game. And what a play from Lazard. Former Packer came over in free agency. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely mossing the Honey Badger. And uh, just couldn't get his hand over to swat that one away. And he was able to come down with that football. Touchdown Tampa Bay. So now the Chiefs trail in this one. And... Mahomes going to go to Tyreek Hill. First and 10 now. Another play here to Hill on the RPO. Nice chunky yards there. Second and one. This time a handoff. And Savage wasn't able to stop him. So Williams gets forward for the first down. So now second and two. Another RPO play here to Hill. But they rally to the ball and bring him down. Third and five coming up. Now Mahomes looking. Third and five, and that one's going to be overthrown. I think he threw that one too late anyways. I don't think he would have got the first down. So punt unit comes back out. And here's Peyton Barber. Look at this. Another big play, this time on the left side of the field. And Tyron Matthews able to bring him down before Barber was gone for a touchdown. Peyton Barber, 41-yard run, over 100 yards already in this game. On just a handful of carries here, just gashing this Chiefs defense. Absolutely amazing season so far from Peyton Barber. Now third and 12. Winston tried for it all. Should have put that one just a little bit more out in front of Mike Evans. Either way, field goal unit comes out, and that one's good. So make it 17-0 Tampa Bay. Did I, did, did I remind you guys we're still in the first quarter here? So here's second and four, and here's a good run this time from Damien Williams. Able to move the chains. And get some life going into this Kansas City offense. Because right now they have nothing. So now there's another run here. Another nice run from Damien Williams. That's going to be around 10 yards. Going to pick up the first down. So now Kansas City in scoring position. Patrick Mahomes, master of the comeback. First and 10. Look at this one. Beautiful throw to Powell on the post route. Safety wasn't able to get over quick enough. It looked like that was a keep to leap. Who got absolutely roasted on that one by Powell. Mahomes had good protection. And yeah, no one was able to get over to him to knock that ball down. So now Chiefs on the board here with seven. Second quarter now. Look at OJ Howard just trucking one man and then gets pushed out of bounds after that. So now first and ten. Winston going to look. Throws this one. That one's back to Lazard. Try spinning when he gets tackled after picking up the first down. So now third and three. Winston looking here. Going to find Chris Godwin. And that's going to be good enough for a first down. Now Winston again stepping back. Looking. 
over the middle here to Mike Evans, who gets hit as he catches the ball. First and goal for Tampa Bay. Now Winston steps back the throw here, throws this one, and there's O.J. Howard with it. Coming down with the football, touchdown, Tampa Bay, make it 24-7. As this Chiefs defense is just getting shredded right now, not much they can do. I don't know, that looks like Chris Godwin could have caught that ball as well. But O.J. Howard able to come down with this one, so now Patrick Mahomes, second and four, rolls out, finds... I believe that was Powell again who gets upended. Chiefs now driving in this one, second and ten. Going to step back to throw again is Mahomes. Going to try to rush here. Finds Kelsey, who gets brought down at the 30. Going to give him the 28. So now another play action look here. Mahomes throwing. That's going to be picked off by Levante David. And Levante David has been on fire recently turnovers interceptions forced fumbles he has been playing great he wants a new contract he's playing like that it's gonna be tough to deny keeping him around for a couple more years here in tampa bay as this defense is really starting to find its footing so now second and 12 Jameis winston doesn't like what he sees takes off gonna slide down before he gets hit playing smart football so far since that Packer game. Now here's Peyton Barber, another big run here. Look at this one. Gonna get brought down before he's able to really do some more damage there. Nine rushes, 152 yards. That's just an insane stat line. Here's da Dare Ogumbawale. He would later leave the game broken ribs. He's gonna miss a few weeks. So here's OJ Howard. Catches that football down at the 12, first to 10. 750 receiving yards in the season for him. Nice year for him. Then here is Mike Evans. Jameis Winston throwing over the linebacker's head. And Evans able to come down with that touchdown reception. Make it 31-7. As the Chiefs defense can't generate any pressure on Winston. Just a clean pocket for him. And you give Winston time to throw. He can make you pay. And then here is... Patrick Mahomes, and that's what he was going through most of this day. Getting sacked that time by Jordan Whitehead, who's just been all over the place since he's sort of taken over that sub-linebacker role. And then here's another run here on 3rd and 25. Damon Williams not able to get much. So now, 2nd and 2, 13 seconds left. Winston going for it. All oh, misplayed ball by the Chiefs defense as Mike Evans comes with the big play before the half. So now, first and ten, a couple seconds left. Winston going to take a shot at the end zone. Evans has a hand on it, can't hold on to the football. So out would come Matt Gay, puts that one through, makes it 34-7. to And I guess a moral victory for the Chiefs to keep a touchdown off the board there, but either way, just not a good half of football for them. But there is Patrick Mahomes. He's still going to fight. He's never going to give up, that's for sure. Then here's Mahomes again, finding Kelsey. So now... The Chiefs getting something going here. Third and seven, though. Look at this one off of the helmet of Kelsey. He can't, you know, just use his hands and catch it. So now fourth and seven ends up being a field goal kick to make it 10 to 34. So now second and six. Winston looking here. Going to find Alan Lazard again. Just all over the place this game. Nice play there from Lazard. More from him later. Winston now looking, going to load up here to O.J. Howard. He can't hold on to the football. Two strong plays there from the Chief secondary. So Winston, he's been playing really good here, but then that's going to be an interception. That's O'Daniel. To me, that looked like P.I. It looked like he shoved him off the route and uh, was able to intercept that ball. In my opinion, that was P.I. That's not on Winston. So now third and five, that's going to be well short of a first down. Chiefs, they would end up punting. So now Jameis Winston, second to five. Let's just hand this one off to Peyton Barber. He's been destroying them all game. Yeah, yeah. And that works. Big gain right there. 192 yards at this point. Nice day for Barber. So now third and three. Another handoff to Peyton Barber. He's going to get the first down. 197 yards so far. So now third and two. Play action. Look at this. Winston on the run. Finds Alan Lazard. Good blocking from Mike Evans there. 
and Alan Zard makes a man miss and he gets into the end zone second time of the game and he's gonna fire up that Kamehameha Maya make it 41 to 10 as the Buccaneers absolutely curb stomping this chief t- chief chiefs team in this one they just can't really do anything right on the defensive end uh not like the offense helped them out but defensively you just can't give up plays like that just repeatedly just big chunk plays non-stop so now third and seven here's Mahomes. he's gonna get sacked this time by devin white that's his second sack of the game Mahomes was under duress all day. Three sacks for Tampa Bay. He was hit a whole lot more. Ricky Ortiz comes in for the kneel down. He takes the negative two yards as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defeat the Kansas City Chiefs in this one. 41-10. Buccaneers now 7-2 on the season. Chiefs fall to 3-6. Jameis Winston, 16 for 24, 274 yards, four touchdowns, and one interception, which I personally thought was sort of off of a P.I., Peyton Barber, 20 carries, 212 yards, one touchdown on the day for him. Could have had a lot more, in my opinion. But Alan Lazard, what a day for him. Kind of a breakout game this season. Four receptions, 105 yards, and two touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes, rough day for him. 19 for 26, 186 yards, one touchdown to one interception. Damian Williams, 15 carries, 60 yards. And then... uh, Brandon Powell, four receptions, 57 yards, and one touchdown on the day, on the day for him. Chiefs fall to three and six. Their playoff hopes are starting to fade here if they don't get it turned around quickly. That is for sure. So for some player upgrades after that really nice win that we had. We're going to take a look here at Ali Marpet. We usually don't get too many linemen upgrades. He has plus two with morale. So he's going to go up to a 90, which I believe makes him an 88 overall. A run block. Uh, keep, like I said, the run blocking has been really good so far this season. A lot better than last season. I feel like we can stick to the run a little bit more um, than we could last season. So Cameron Brait also gets an upgrade. And he's up to a 75 overall. So we have a really nice little tight end combo going on there. Um, I have been thinking about possibly in the draft looking for another tight end because uh, he is 29. So we're going to have to look for someone to replace him. MJ Stewart, he gets up to a 72 overall. We go with run support for him. And that's an all right. I don't think play recognition even does anything. So at least we get plus one awareness and plus one tackle, I guess. And then Kendall back with... Uh, he's up to a 68 overall. Um, depending on how Levante David progresses, um, this could be linebacker number two for us next season. And then Scotty Miller, who just hasn't been playing a lot this season. Um, haven't seen much of him. Plays sparingly. Uh, we have other guys to play. And then uh, another upgrade here for Shaquille Barrett, who I'm still surprised. I could have swear he used to have a face scan. Maybe I'm wrong. And uh, he's up to an 83 overall. Going to go with finesse moves, of course, because why not? Plus one finesse moves, plus one pursuit, and plus two zone coverage, even though he doesn't really drop back into coverage much. And next game, we travel to New Orleans to take on the three and six New Orleans Saints, who have just completely fallen apart this season without Drew Brees. I think just cap issues, things like that, have sort of hurt that team. So we're going to go in there, and we're going to put a... We're going to put an end to their season. We're going to put them to 3 and 7, and uh, we're going to enjoy doing it, that's for sure, because they've caused me a lot of pain so far. So, either way, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm back with videos now. Uh, expect more next week. This is coming up on a Friday, so I uh, just wanted to get a video out for this week, and uh, just want to take a little bit of a week break, and uh, we'll be back with videos um, starting next week. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.